This is the unboxing of the Intel Core i5 4670K LJ1150 CPU from Intel. This is the latest Haswell series uh, of processors, so the fourth generation, hence the four in the, the product name. And this is a successor to the 3570K, which was a successor to the 2500K. Uh, this uh, Haswell series of uh, processors, uh, specifically 4670K, doesn't um, bring a whole lot in the terms of uh, gaming performance, but you know, if you are building a new system, it is recommended to go with the newer series of processors. Although I have to say that this is probably the most dated looking packaging that Intel has ever produced for any of their processors ever. I mean, this 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 face here, which my camera is detecting as as a real person's face, and is probably focusing that in. It looks very dated and very 90s. I mean, if you saw that on a shelf in like the 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 early early millennium or the late nineties, you think, oh yeah, that looks about right. It's just a bit strange, sort of the head, you know, sort of a picture of a frame. I don't see how that pertains to to gaming and high performance CPUs. What will you make? Well, not a picture of a BMX. Like, I mean, there's a guy with a BMX in a frame. People buying this sort of a processor and building it for like a gaming PC are probably not going outside much. Just a hunch there, Intel, but I think that might be the case. But that's that's irrelevant. So what have we got on the side here? i5 4670K, 3.4 gigahertz, like 3570K, 6 meg cache, LG 11, LGA 1150, so there is a new socket for Haswell. Uh, 1155 is not compatible with LGA 1150, so you will need a new motherboard if you want to upgrade from 1155 for whatever reason. Uh, sort of very of breakdown, batch number information, just some basic information on the back. Back saying it contains the stock cooler. We've got uh, information here. Four cores, four-way multitask processing, Intel Turbo Boost Technology 2.0, Intel Smart Cache Technology, integrated memory control supports dual general DDR3 memory, and with a three-year limited warranty and Intel HD Graphics 4600. I'll just go and get uh, my uh, cutting attachment from my a screwdriver and we'll open up the box. Something that is worth noting with uh, the fourth generation of processors, the third generation, so something like the Intel Core i3770K or the 3570K were significantly hotter than the Sandy Bridge. The same thing is pretty much applicable with uh, with Haswell. Uh, they are still using the same thermal interface material underneath the processor, um, which is a more generic uh, thermal interface material. Uh, so you will need to invest if you want uh, better cooling performance. It also is also worth noting they've integrated a voltage regulation module in the CPU, so that again also does kick out a bit more heat, but that does mean that overclocking is a little bit more consistent on uh, lower tier motherboards than it, as it is with higher end motherboards. So let's open this up. Let's cut in here. Okay, we have an Intel Core i processor booklet with the case badge. If you so want to decorate your case and just basically information about the processor. We have the stock Intel cooler, which essentially has not changed design for about 10 years now. It's it's different mounting mechanism, that's that's about it. So you'll find the same style of design on Pentium 4 processors from like 2003 and 2004. Don't use this. You've got a 4670K. Do not use this cooler. It is. It, you probably have an Eskimo breathing on your CPU without a cooler. Do a better job than this thing will ever do. So don't use this cooler. You can get aftermarket coolers like the Coolmaster Hyper 212 Evo for about 30 bucks, And it will do a significantly better job at cooling your CPU, which will give you more performance overclocking headroom. And will also ensure that the life expectancy of your CPU is longer and your system is generally quieter. Do not use this cooler. If you use this cooler, there's probably something wrong with you. There, yes. Okay, and the rest of the packaging, we have the thing that matters. This, I wonder how much money, how much this would be cheaper if they didn't include this. Hmm? Don't use this. This is the 4670K itself. You probably won't be able to see, and this probably won't. Oh, hold on. 
Here you go, Core i5 4670K, uh, 3.4 gigahertz made in Malaysia it seems. See the, the shininess of the packaging. You have 1150 pads on the bottom here which will interface with the 1150 pads for the socket of the CPU and I think that pretty much covers it all. Thanks for watching the unboxing of the Intel Core i5 4670K LGA 1150 CPU and do not use the stock cooler. Thanks for watching.